My first guest, the most talked about person in entertainment. Last night she won three Grammys and performed her number one single, Born This Way. Let's take a look at her Grammy performance. Take a look. My mama told me when I was young, we're all born superstars. Oh, Grammy I love Super Eminem. Bell. I put M&M's in them. You knew those were my, <laughs> you know those are my favorite candy. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. And th you know, thank you. You know, you you you're the only person in show business that puts so much effort. This is just a talk show. It's not a big. We're not at Staples Center or something. And yet, you you have a wonderful outfit. And you put so much time and effort. This and I think that's what makes it great. It's not just a talk show. No, you know what I mean. I'm just a, a Italian girl from New York. That's this is the big time for me. <laughs> well, that's right. Well, we appreciate you being here. I feel so honored to be here. Well, we're honored Hi, to have you. Hi, everyone in the band. I feel you over there. I used to be over there, so I feel you. <laughs> Now tell me, the three Grammys, how did you celebrate last night? What did you do afterwards? Did you do anything? I, I don't remember very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was, I know it was fun. Yeah. Yes, I know it was fun. I, I, I do remember being called Drunky Gaga at some point. Drunky Gaga. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, how long, now it's not an egg, is it? It's a, it's a, it's a vessel, is that what you it's call it? Well, Hussein Chalayan, who designed it, he, he called it, he said, make sure you tell everyone it's a vessel. And I said, OK. OK, Hussein. it's a vessel. Yeah. OK, it's a vessel. And, and you were in there for like a couple of hours. I right? was in it for three days. For three days, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and was it, was it cold in the egg or oh, the vessel? It was temperature controlled. Temperature controlled, okay. Yes. All right. Now, last night, I think I counted, what, three wardrobe changes? Something like that? I think so. Okay. I, geez, I changed so damn Now, this much, one here, this was the first one. This was, might have been my favorite. Thank you. Yeah, this is a good one. I, I actually... I designed all the clothes for myself and the dancers. Oh, is that right? Yes, and it was two days before the performance. I changed everything because I didn't like the clothing. And I felt so bad because the House of Gaga was like red-eyed and up all night. And I would be like, I hate it. We have to change everything. And they're like, OK. <laughs> No, why, what didn't you like about it? What did you... Change? You know, because they looked like dancers in the outfits yeah. that we had. And I, you know, I'm so close with all of them. Yeah. And uh, Lorianne Gibson, my choreographer, and, uh, uh, you know, everyone that's uh, in the House of Gaga, all of the creatives, we're just so close. So sometimes, you know, I don't want the band and the dancers to feel like band and dancers behind me because it's... Really, the performance of Born This Way is nothing without all of them. It's about togetherness, so. Oh, I got you, that makes sense. Now this one here. Now remember, a while ago, you wore the outside of the cow, the inside of the cow. Now this would be the outside of the cow. This is the, this is the leather here. I'm ignoring you. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> Well, tell me about this one. Tell me about this one. Um, this is also uh, Terry Mugler. Okay. Um, and uh, actually, it was in uh, inspired by uh, humanoids, uh, okay. alien sex humanoid hybrid woman. My favorite. <laughs> now, this is, now you, you do something that women don't do anymore, I think is great. See, I love the hats. The hat is fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love you. the hat. That's my favorite thing. Thank you. It's a church hat. Now, behind you, 
Behind you is Will Smith. Could he see anything? I was just wondering. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Of course he could. I actually am. Uh, I know Will, and I, I love Willow. I told her that she inspired me to yeah. whip my hair back and forth on stage. <laughs> Now, do you ever have a mal uh, sort of a wardrobe malfunction this, when you have this, when it's this intricate? Quite frequently. Quite frequently. Quite frequently. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. The worst was at Heathrow Airport, I think. I had, I was so excited. I had these new shoes had arrived, and right. they were, you know, like 12 inches. I mean, really massive <laughs> heels. And I was so excited to show them off. Um, they're by this designer, Noritake, from Japan. I couldn't wait. And I took literally four, it was like the second the cameras got to me, I was like, bam! Wow. Right on the floor. <laughs> right on, and I was just <laughs> went down, and I went, <laughs> Oh, God. And I said, they're going to think I was a drunk girl off the plane. Yeah. Too much Valium and, yeah. and champagne. The Judy Garland cocktail. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> now, no one has seen this yet. I guess it's not Don't out yet. Don't give me that yeah, yeah. finger from over there. Yeah. I saw the gay finger. Go the Vogue cover. This is a totally new look, oh. isn't it? Gosh, yeah. I haven't even seen it in real life. You haven't seen this yet? Life. See, that's... There you go. Very cool. Look at that. Is that kind of like a, kind of a porcelain doll kind of look? That's oh, thank of, you. Yeah, it's a Hader it. Ackerman. He's a really amazing okay. uh, young designer. And yeah. I was so excited. Vogue. It's like, yeah, it's a girl's dream to be on the cover. Well, of sure, Vogue. sure. Well, it's a guy dream too. You look pretty good. In that <laughs> look, we'll take what a break. Kind of dream? Lady Gaga. When we come back. Right after. <laughs> Start with Lady Gaga. Born This Way is the new uh, is the new single. Tell yeah. us about the album. Oh, I love the album so much, and mm. I hope all of the monsters do yeah. too. Yeah. I, um, I've been working on it for over a year and a half, okay. and um, I wrote Born This Way, the m lyrics and the melodies very quickly. But then I took a whole year to produce it, just to get it really perfect and thick and and the bass line kept changing and all the instruments and eventually it just really was perfect and the record is kind of um eclectic in a way uh, the rest of the songs on the album are quite different from mm -hmm. born this way and it, it just sort of grows and changes and uh, the amazing themes and i had so much fun writing it and, and tell us what born this way is about uh well essentially uh with the visuals and the music and all of the lyrics uh it's about be being able to know that when you were born, you weren't just born in that moment. You mm. had your, you have your entire life to realize the person that you're potentially going to become, and whoever you choose to be was part of your destiny. Yeah. Uh, so I'm encouraging people to know that if, if in this moment you don't feel entirely happy or secure in who you are, you feel bullied or disenfranchised, it's never too late to harness your confidence and your inner superstar and say, I was born this way. This, no, that's great. I'm gonna that's get really it. good. That's oh, wonderful. It's wonderful. Now, let me ask you about this, uh, this controversy. We can have mine if you like. This one what, what's in there? That's, that's just water. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> this whole thing with Madonna and Express Yourself, what are your thoughts on this? Because people love to come up with yeah, comparison. Yeah. You know, there is really no one that is a more adoring and loving Madonna fan than me. I am the hugest fan, personally and professionally. And, well, the good news is that I got an email from uh, her people and, and her uh, sending me their love and complete support on behalf of the single. And if the queen says it shall be, then it shall be. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's wonderful. I, I think it's so important as well. Um, I think today in music, there's the, the freedom in this song, the sort of R&B, early 90s uh, vibe that it has. Um, 
it's so full of love and spirit, and I think that it's the spirit that people are reacting to the most. I just want everyone to rejoice and celebrate and uh, be unafraid to be happy with yeah. music. It doesn't always have to be so dark. It doesn't always have to be so sexy. Sometimes it's wonderful just to celebrate life and kind of go to church with it, you know? Yeah, and I got you. That's great. That's great, because I know you... Uh... You gave some political speeches this summer. I remember I did. In, in Maine you yeah. gave one, and uh, I liked your look with the glasses and the whole game. Thank you. Well, here, here, here's a little snippet. There's a picture. There you are. There. Uh, is this something you're going to do more? Get involved with political causes and things? Um, uh, well, as a gay rights activist, yes, uh, I'm always going to be um, fighting for equality with um, all of my friends and with Good my fans. Have you ever met? Have you ever met anybody in your age group that is against gay rights? I mean, this seems, it seems like something that's going to happen yes, in, in real I have. Do you meet young yes, people? Yes, of course really? I have. Well, okay. not my fans. But, right, yeah. But, um, I, yes, there's all sorts of people all over the world with so many different views, but... Uh, most importantly, I think it's about bringing people together, and and the performance we did last night at the Grammys was and uh, and what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth. Uh, yeah. It's meant to signify a an artistic statement of birthing a new race, and it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity yeah, that yeah. bears no um, uh, prejudice against anyone. So. No. Um, it, that's really the statement in itself. Well, that's great. That's really good. That's really good. Now, you are, I think, the biggest number of followers on Twitter than anybody. Something like 8 million. What was, what was the last million. thing that you, you tweeted? I will be on the Jay Leno Oh, that's very good. Right. Oh, that's very good. Okay, very good, very good. And, and uh, you're going to be taking an HBO special? Uh, yes. Oh, this is a very exciting new announcement. Yeah. Um, I will. I'm going to be taping uh, a special for HBO of the Monster Ball. So for those of you who didn't get the okay. and the other exciting new news I can share with you is that the video for Born This Way will be out very soon, and it was shot in collaboration um, with myself, the House of Gaga, with Nick Knight, the uh, fashion photographer, and Laurie Ann Gibson, my choreographer. Now today is Valentine's Day. Worst date ever. Oh, oh. Well, I don't like it when you're on a date and someone says, are you having fun? Is this fun? Yeah, that's Do you right. like me? Yeah. Are you, do you think this is gonna work? I'm just like, I yeah. don't know. I, yeah. I just ordered some chicken. We had a yeah. mm -hmm. Well, very good. So I'm awkward. <laughs> well, are you having fun? I am having fun. <laughs> I am having fun. You know, and I think you're really great. And like I say, I, I do, I do appreciate all the effort. And your people get here early, and you look great, and, and people can't wait to see you. And, and you have wonderful taste and everything. I thought you were just fantastic. Thank you well, so this much. This is what I do. Thank you. This is what you do, babe. Do it better than anybody. Lady Gaga. Be right back with Sofia Vergara right after this. nominated actress, one of the most beautiful women on TV. You see her Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock in the award-winning hit show Modern Families. Please welcome Sofia Vergara. <laughs> Really is Valentine's Day for me. So nice to meet you. Both of you guys. <laughs> now, do you know Lady Gaga? Have you met? I, don't, I mean, no. I've, I know who she is. Who doesn't know who Lady Gaga is? Yeah. She's so cute. <laughs> I tried to step it up a notch today because I knew she was coming. Yeah. So, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> I think she stepped it up too, notches. Yeah. That's the kind of competition we like here on the show. <laughs> 
Uh, well, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Did, did they say, uh, is, is Valentine's Day big in Colombia? Is that a big deal? It, well, yes, yeah, it's, it's a, a big holiday, but it's not uh, in February, it's in September. I don't know why. Oh, in September? Yeah. So but we do the same thing. We wear, you know, the, the dirty underwear. <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, you wear dirty underwear. No, the underwear. sexy underwear. I'm oh, sorry. sexy. <laughs> sexy underwear, okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah, there's not, yeah, yeah, there's. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not really yeah. much of a celebration, no, 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 really. No, that sexy <laughs> underwear. Oh, my God. Yeah. Some people oh, like that. Okay. No, sexy is cute, you sexy know. Or like dirty. Yeah. 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 Oh, but we're okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, we do gifts. We, we mm -hmm. give flowers, roses. Yeah. And it's just uh, pretty yeah. much the same. Colombia is very Americanized in the... We celebrate Halloween. Halloween, okay. Yeah, we celebrate uh, many of the holidays that you guys Okay. Say. Now... Do you cook a romantic dinner for your boyfriend? Is that is that big? No, I don't cook at all. You don't cook at all. I don't think she needs to cook. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always say that. Yeah. <laughs> Men never want me in the kitchen. That's because they yeah. want you in there. <laughs> That's why you understand. I never learned to cook. I was, you know, yeah. never. No, I understand. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. I know. Now, I mean, you always look so glamorous on the TV show. In the paparazzi, they must, they, do they follow you incessantly? Is it, is it drive you crazy? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I think uh, once you become, uh, you know, a celebrity, the paparazzi, yeah. they're always uh, after you. But, you know, sometimes they can be mean, sometimes it's nice. Yeah. And. Uh, you know what you need? An AK 47. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It takes care of the problem. Yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah, right? That'll work. I mean, do you feel... I think that's what I mean. I mean, do you feel pressure, like, just to go out to the store to grab something? You have to get made up and do the whole deal? Uh, no, I don't care. But yeah. listen, last week, they yeah. put a picture of me uh, with no makeup, supposedly with no makeup, yeah. uh, on a set. Uh, you don't have the picture? We have the picture. That's one there they oh, are. Oh, look at that. Right. You look and, fine. Well, I thought I looked great. I mean, if they see me hangover, I mean, they'll die. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's like... I mean, that was, you know, I was uh, jet lagged. Like, die. I've <laughs> done it. They don't die. <laughs> I was they don't jet lagged, but they said like it was a big deal. Like, oh my God, uh, uh, no makeup. I don't know. It's weird that the skin looks like the same color of the background. Put the picture again. Yeah. Okay. How did they do that? Wow. Yeah, I guess <laughs> How did I do that? How did I match the background? <laughs> That's amazing. No, Lady Gaga, yes. um, I can teach you some makeup tricks. Thank yes. you. See? Well, <laughs> well here's you and your son. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that, Manolo. That, 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 Manolo, that looks like some cougar thing. Do people, do people believe I mean, he's your son? It, yeah, I mean, I try. Jay. I know. It's it's so I know, but I mean, I know, but no when you see them together, it's hard to believe that, that, that he's it's your son. It's not hard to believe. I know. Hard. It's like, I love when people confuse me that they think he's my boyfriend. Lord. He hates it. He's like, ah, no, Oh well, yeah, exactly. I would imagine. Yeah. I tell him, it's like, he's like Manolo. It's like Aston Kutcher and Demi Moore. Yeah. We look, they think. <laughs> We look like that, and he doesn't like it. No, no, no. no this is a, wow. But he, today, he usually doesn't care what I do on TV or whatever. Yeah. And today, he's like, oh, so today is your day, Lena, with Lady Gaga, because he's a fan of Lady Gaga. I love the accent when you say it. Tell him hello, Manolo. <laughs> Lady Gaga, say hello to Manolo. Hi, Manolo. OK, good. <laughs> Like no. his shoes. <laughs> he is Did cute. you name him after the no, shoes? No, I was in oh. Colombia at that time. I, I named him after Scarface. You saw Scarface? Uh. Okay. <laughs> the... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. You named him I... after Scarface. Yes. Yeah, you remember the, well, I... the best friend of Tony Montana? Yes, we know. Was Manolo. <laughs> and the, oh, Manolo, shoot that piece of. He had an AK 47, too. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's... Yeah. So, uh, Stephen Bauer was so hot. So, yeah. so when I had my son, I said, I'm going to name him Name Manolo. after him. Yeah. The, the killer in the movie. Well, okay, no, you good. Know what? <laughs> my son told me one time in, in an interview, we were being interviewed as, you know, mother and son. And he's like, oh, yeah, my mother, uh, she thinks it's funny that she uh, named me after a drug dealer junkie. Uh. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but he was very handsome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fabulous. <laughs> Now, he lives on the East Coast now, right? He's in Connecticut in boarding school at the Gunnery, yeah. Okay, all right, very good. Now, now do you Skype? Do you do that thing I'm talking uh, about? No. Uh, listen, I uh, BBM him, and everybody answers me immediately. Him, it's like six hours go by, 
and nothing. I'm like, okay, Manolo, what's going on? It's like, I'm, I'm in class, or I'm in, I'm, I, I don't get to see. No, there's always an excuse. Not, I mean, mm. how long does it take to say yes, nothing in, a, in, the, in the BBM? Yeah, call, your, call your mother. Exactly. That exactly. Where he is. I'll tell you what, I'll call your mother. How's that? <laughs> yeah. Forget it. I'll call your mother. Now, you and, you and he went to the Super Bowl, right? We went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, I was working, uh -huh. uh, but he, we had a great time. You know, mm. it's, he had some days off, so I wanted to spend time with him. Okay. Did it you watch fantastic. the game? Do you know who's playing? Uh, no, I didn't know who was playing, and I didn't really <laughs> care. But, you know, it's like I love the energy of going to a game. Yeah. It's like I'm Latin American, and we love to go to soccer games. Right. You know, okay. Same the thing. The real football. Yeah. And, uh, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I love just going to the stadium and eating, you know, the hot dogs and the beer and the, a lot of guys. So the whole energy oh, is okay. great. <laughs> wow. I like that that guys was next to hot dog and beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but what does a girl need? Good priority. No, no. <laughs> well, you're the new face of, of, of Pepsi, right? Because you did a Pepsi commercial, I think, when you were, what, 17? Well, I was 17 years old, right, and okay. now again they... Uh, I'm going to, you know, be uh, the spokesperson for Pepsi. But, of course, that was 20 years ago. I was doing the commercial for regular Pepsi. Now yeah. I'm doing Diet Pepsi. Now you do the Diet Pepsi, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, where's that photo? Let's take a look. Let's see. Look at Oh, look, you look great. Look Gorgeous. At that. Yeah. Look the, at that. And the can wow. is very special. It's called the new Skinny Can. Skinny Can. And I love that they, they hired me to represent the Skinny Can. Your arm yeah. is about the same size as the can. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's, I'm sure it's Photoshop. Unfortunately, most people, most people who drink that will not have a skinny can. That's what we tell them. Oh, it's diet, Pepsi. No, no, no. It's diet. Oh, it's no, diet. zero it's diet. calories. A diet, diet. Well, congratulations on, 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 on uh, Modern Family. You won the SAG Award, Best yes. Ensemble. Very good, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I know... On the show, you play Ed O'Neill's wife. Did, yes. did you know him from Married with Children? Did you get that show? In? Yes, of course. In, in Colombia, we had a Married with Children, and I always bother him. I always tell the story that in Colombia, they uh, do the, the um, how do you say, the... Dubbing? The dubbing, or yeah. the... Yeah, they translate it into Spanish. So I always thought he had this uh, <laughs> voice like Antonio Banderas. <laughs> so when I met him, <laughs> I was really disappointed. <laughs> I know you speak Spanish. I've heard you. Wow. <laughs> oh, very good. But no, he doesn't know one word in Spanish. I understand. Well, Sofia, congratulations on the show. It's Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock. Sofia Rivera, be right back with the legendary John Legend right after this.